All right, what's going on YouTube? It's King Profits here. I know you don't recognize me by this face, maybe by the face in game, but I just thought it'd be fun to uh, do a little face reveal, uh, teach you guys how to make some world locks, and yeah, let's get right into it, guys. All right, today we're gonna be learning how to do Startopia. It is a very confusing topic if you've never tried it, but that's what people say. It's a myth. It's very easy, much easier than surgery, and pff, it's pretty much all the same. You know, th there's no... Uh, external factors you don't get like the heart stopping this and that it's always the same missions just different words most of the time all right let's get right into it though basic 12 tools here you get the ai brain the cyborg diplomat the galactable giga blaster torpedo shield quad scanner space med supply document tac drone and teleporter charge which is the most expensive tool by the way i just used a blast KP stars is what I named it. Choose the basic blast. It's gonna be hard to do it on these uh, basic parts here. So what you're gonna want to do is after you use one of these blasts, just break these parts. You don't need them. They're so bad. They go back to your backpack. I don't even think they're worth a single world log. All right, guys, I'm back and I got these three parts. They're Hypertech MK3s. They're the strongest parts. I thought, why not use them? Not too expensive. I think a few world logs each. Put them down. There's some support things you need to put down as well. These three parts right here, let's place them down anywhere you want, it doesn't really matter. They don't do anything, just upgrade your uh, ship rating, which makes it easier to do missions. So let's get into it right now. So the beginning mission is very straightforward. It tells you exactly which tool to pick, saying let's use a tactical drone. So just practice tac drone, and then let's use our stellar docks, press it, boom. You just did your first mission, I'm very proud of you. Now continue this. All right. Here's a mission here. Perhaps we should investigate. If we think logically, attack drone would scan the area for us so we could figure out what's going on. So most likely, and most of the time, we will choose attack drone as the first tool. And now it's saying, get ready for some exploration. You're gonna use teleporter when it says that. Typically guys, teleporter is used a second after attack drone. Your crew beams over the ruined hypertech scout ship. Let's see if there's anything of value. So now after we do that high level scan, if you're going to look for something that's in where you're already at, you hit Quadra Scanner and it shows you. And now it's saying we have valuable data. Let's get it back to the ship. Let's teleport back. And then they want us to file an official report. So we're going to use our documents so the report files. Anyways, it's pretty straightforward. And what I do is I read the last segment of it and it basically tells you exactly what to use. So again, we're going to start off by using Tac Drone your common ones prepare for an incoming it defenses up use your shields and then shall we respond we're going to torpedo them and then we need to press on it so we're going to press them we're going to press another torpedo send their attack and then boom easy as that another one here attack drone teleporter collage scanner get it back to the ship and then docks okay this mission here is so common it comes up all the time you use your attack drone teleporter quadra scanner teleport again and then you stellar docks all right, we're already in the second sector, guys. This is so easy. Here we go. All right, same exact mission, guys. Pretty much different words, same mission. We're gonna teleport in, and then we need to mediate. If we wanna mediate, if we need to talk to them, we're gonna use the side diplomat tool here. How do we get them to prove which claim is valid? So I think we should use stellar docs, because usually anything with like documents, like, Proof treaties, this and that, you use docs for. The fraudulent merchant pulls a blaster and begins shooting. Well, if someone's gonna shoot me, obviously I'm gonna shoot it back. All right, boom, mission done. All right, let's do it. And this new update, guys, this new Startopia update is great. You never used to be able to go to the other sectors that you were in previously, but now they implemented it so you can go back. Let's see another one here. All right, something new. We need to know more. Let's scout the area. We need linguistic assistance. Well, for speaking purposes, we're going to use the side diplomat. Okay, there's a pedestal for offering. Should we put something on it? Okay, a new tool, supplies. Whenever you need to give food, distract something with a certain item, something that you would think is like not one of your other tools, like you just need to like give them some supplies, that supply block, uh, the supply tool does that, just that. Who knows how long the temple will remain open? Hmm. We need to preserve these messages. I think we should use Stellar Docs because, you know, documentation, we use Stellar Docs. 
All right, let's do another one. Let's take them out. Okay, this is another common mission: attack drone, hyper shield, double torpedo. That's common. Happens a lot, guys. You learn the missions over; they're consistent, and it's much easier than surgery. I'll assure you that. And let's do another one here. Take them out. Let's clear in. Find them. And then, if it's not the one going back and using the documents, it could be this one where there's an ambush or there's something, and you have to kill it first, and then you can teleport back out. It's so simple, guys. So now I just want to talk about Startopia and the profit opportunities you have with it. So if you do the roll quest every day, I say one is free. I you should definitely do one. Two is only three thousand gems. I highly recommend doing two every day. And if it's a uh, Startopia day or the Jack of All Trades day, I recommend doing three or four depending on your uh, your wallet. But Definitely invest in some gems or you spare your gems for the Startopia roll quest because it is a lot of profit, guys. And then one thing you want to do is you could farm the Nexus Sector, which is the second to last one now with a new update, where you can get lots of varying upgrade equipments like these machinery that I use to make this ship. They're worth a bit. Um, you're going to use Skill Spice there. Skill Spice is basically a consumable that reduces your chance of getting a fail as if you would in surgery but in startopia you see almost impossible to get a skill fail in the nexus sector so skill spice is very valuable i believe it's a few world locks only now very much so recommended if you're doing the nexus sector second thing the epsilon sector geminade is a great investment it's a few world locks you crank out a lot of missions you're going to probably make around like 25 35000 gems decent profit there and the Grisak shoulder cannon is rising it's like 35 plus now um, that's a sector I recommend grinding out but again with the roll quest with the roll blocks you make your world locks back practically from the tools plus you get the prizes so yeah Startopia is a great way to make world locks in this game let me know in the comments below what you're interested in seeing from me um, I started YouTube because it's quarantine I am so bored and it gives me something to do